Hi, I'm Sammy from Body and Birth Physiotherapy, and in this video, I'm going to explain some pelvic floor anatomy and help you understand both its very important function within the body, but also the types of issues that can arise in this area, with the help of my good friend, Patty the Pelvis. A well-functioning pelvic floor is essential to the health of the entire body. It is the foundation for your core strength, reproduction, and many daily functions. However, during pregnancy, the pelvic floor muscles are subject to the extra loads of a growing baby, changing hormones, and childbirth, which can contribute to pelvic floor dysfunction postpartum. The pelvic floor muscles literally form the floor or the base of your pelvis, and they run from your pubic bone at the front all the way to your tailbone at the back and of course side to side as well. And these muscles ideally function similar to a trampoline. They need to be flexible but also really strong as they act as the main support against gravity for all of your pelvic organs. They also play vital roles in bladder and bowel control, sexual function and stability of your spine and pelvis. They are the last stop for everything inside your body and the outside world. So they're essential for keeping things in when you want them to, like your pelvic organs, all the time, uh, but also urine and for bowel motions, most of the time. Letting things out as well. So when we want to empty both our bladder and our bowel at appropriate times, but of course letting out babies, which are slightly bigger. Letting things in. So when using a tampon or a menstrual cup or during intercourse, um, or even having a pap smear, these muscles need to be able to relax enough to allow these things to move inwards. They also help to stabilize the joints of the pelvis and the spine, working with your deep abdominal core muscles, and this helps to prevent pain in the lower back, the pelvic girdle, and the hips and knees. They've, finally, they also allow for sexual function and orgasm. An orgasm is essentially a rhythmic contraction of your pelvic floor muscles to help with the circulation and blood flow. So really, we've got this incredibly versatile group of muscles, but because they perform so many different functions, problems of the pelvic floor muscles can manifest in many different ways, especially when in, you add in the variable of carrying the extra weight and load of a baby. One of the most common things that we associate with pelvic floor dysfunction and that we see postpartum is urinary incontinence. However, this can range from just a mild, annoying bit of sneeze pee to complete lack of control. Other pelvic floor related problems can include lower back, hip and pelvic pain. And this is often due to the decreased stability provided by the pelvic floor muscles, combined with an imbalance of the surrounding hip and spinal musculature as well. Pelvic floor dysfunction can also contribute to tailbone pain. If the pelvic floor muscles are actually too tight, then they can be constantly creating a bit of attraction or a pulling force on the tailbone, which can lead to this soreness around the area. Urinary frequency and urgency is also related to pelvic floor control. However, it tends to be more of the connection between the bladder and the brain and less to do with the function of the pelvic floor muscles. However, if you have experienced urinary incontinence before, this fear of leaking or a worry of having an accident can lead to a habit of emptying the bladder all of the time, even when you aren't necessarily full. This is not a helpful habit, however, and should be avoided where possible. But normal bladder emptying should be between two and a half to four hours when you're awake during the day, but not needing to wake up at all at night time. Fecal incontinence is another concern of pelvic floor function. And this can be due to lack of control or the ability of the pelvic floor muscles to close the anal sphincter, usually more common when the stool is very soft. Constipation, on the other hand, can also be influenced by your pelvic floor muscles. While it does depend highly on your fiber intake and your fluid intake during the day, if you are having trouble emptying the bowels, even though the stool is quite soft, this could be due to the pelvic floor muscles not being able to relax completely to allow bowel motions to happen easily. Pelvic organ prolapse refers to the falling down or sometimes falling out of the organs within the pelvis. So this includes the bladder, the bowel and the uterus itself. And the pelvic floor muscles are designed to be able to provide that support underneath 
to the pelvic floor, while there's also some ligaments that help to stabilize and lift the pelvic organs internally. If they don't have the support underneath, then over time, these organs can slowly lower down into the pelvis itself. And finally, pain with sex. So things like vaginismus refers to the reflexive closure of the pelvic floor muscles, not allowing um, anything in. But vestibulodynia refers to, or vulvodynia, can refer to more of that burning and sharp raw pain that occurs with sex as well. Unfortunately, there is a common belief that pelvic floor issues are inevitable after pregnancy and childbirth. But I have to tell you, this is just not the case. While we can't change our genetics and don't always have total control over what happens during childbirth, I believe that proper education and preparation plus some simple lifestyle changes can help you prevent or decrease your risk of pelvic floor dysfunction, pain, and embarrassment. If you'd like to learn more about these issues, you can have a look at my blog in the description below. And I also highly recommend my free pelvic health ebook available here to begin restoring your pelvic floor health before or after babies. If you have any questions, please feel free to send an email to info at bodyandbirthphysio.com or check out the contact information on our website. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome pelvic floor info. Bye for now from me and Patty.